everyone. Thank you for tuning into my video. Today we're working on something a little different. We have a Kawaii electronic keyboard here. Uh, this belongs to a buddy of mine and he told me that um, when you plug it in and you push the power button, it doesn't really turn on until you give it a slap or a kick from the bottom <laughs> and then it will uh, turn on. I have verified the problem. Uh, it's kind of strange too. Yeah, you plug it in, you push the button, nothing happens. You just go whack and then it turns on. Um, so we're going to take it apart. We're going to see if there's any uh, loose connections in the uh, board that's over there. There's like a volume knob and some buttons and then the power button. We'll see what's going on in there. It's likely that the power switch is dirty or loose or something like that. So we'll get to the bottom of it. But it does work. But the only issue is with that power switch. So let's take it apart. All right, I spent some time trying to figure out how to disassemble this thing, and this was the best that I can get. I slid back the cover where all the switches are. It wouldn't come apart completely unless I took this keyboard completely apart, which I really don't know how to do, and I don't want to break anything. <laughs> but I have enough access here to the switches. You can see them down here. If I push it, you can see it um, pushing the switch. It doesn't look like they're fully sealed. It looks like I might be able to get the nozzle of my contact cleaner down in there. Uh, the power switch is over to the left, so you can't see that, but I have access to that as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to try and clean these sw all the switches, and then I also have access to the volume knob. You can't see that because it's off camera. I'm going to clean all those switches, and then I'm going to fire it up to see if it fixes that problem. Uh, I forgot to mention earlier that uh, I ruled out um, the connection where the uh, power adapter plugs into, as, um, because when I had it plugged in and on, I kind of wiggled and jiggled it around and it wouldn't turn off. It seemed to uh, mostly act up when I was in this area with the uh, switches, so I think it might just be a dirty switch. So we'll find out and see. So I'm going to go ahead and clean those switches real quick. And uh, when I finish, I'll get back to you and we'll test it out. So we had a turn of the vents here. Uh, I put it all back together and when I went to test it, it still did the same thing where you would push the power button here, the red LED would illuminate, but no sound would come out of the keys until you whacked it. So I noticed that if you held the power switch down, uh, it would cut in and start working normally. And it would work like, I don't know, three out of every 10 um, uh, cycles of the switch here. So I tore it all down. It took me a while to figure that out. It's like a, a, a puzzle, but it's all torn down. I really wanted access to this board here. So I was going to see if we can maybe, without spending any money, remove this switch, power switch, and swap it with the switch over here, the demo switch that will probably never, ever, ever be used. So I was wondering if we could just do a quick swap and then we have a, a good power switch again. So uh, I did also do a visual inspection on the board. Everything looks okay. All the capacitors look good. So I'm going to study this board a little more and see if it's possible to do a little switcheroo. And then uh, once I figure out what to do, I'll get back to you. So after uh, poking around this board a little bit and uh, testing the switch with the multimeter, um, I determined that this switch is probably worn out. Um, when I had it hooked up to the multimeter, it was giving me some funky readings when I was pushing it compared to the... Uh, ones over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I could swap out this power, swi power uh, switch with one of the demo switches that will be hardly used. Let's do a quick switch and then see if that resolves our issue with the sound cutting out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and uh, when I'm done uh, I'll put it back together and then we'll test it. So uh, let me get all this stuff done and then we'll, I'll get back to you when we're ready to test.
was an adventure. Um, started off just cleaning the switches, and then that didn't fix the issue, and then we ended up blowing it apart and swapping this demo switch here, which just kind of shows what the keyboard can do with the power switch. And I'm gonna hope that fixed our issue. Again, the issue was if you would turn it on before, it would light up, but there'd be no sound coming out of the speakers until you tapped on it or banged on the bottom, and then it would suddenly start working. Do that about three out of every five times. Rarely would it actually work with that. Having to tap on it or fiddle with the power switch here, if you kind of wiggled it, it would work again. So um, upon testing with the multimeter, found that that power switch was a little janky. And so instead of buying a new one, just did a little swap here. And hopefully that uh, fixed it, because this demo switch I got hardly ever gets used. So let's go ahead and plug her in. that there we go let's see if it'll do it five times in a row okay it actually powers on so that's good did something right okay one for one two for two three for three let's go four for four Last but not least, oh yeah, five for five. There's the bad switch blues right there. <laughs> uh, anyways, I think that'll be it for this video. Um, did a little troubleshooting here, found a bad switch, did a swap without having to spend any money. Put it all back together and it seems to be working. Do one more just for kicks. Watch it not work now. Okay, woo, thank goodness. Yeah, I think we got this thing uh, back to 100% working order. Um, if you have a similar model, I hope this can help you out. If you have a similar issue, we kind of have to bang on it to get it to work. Um, hopefully it can help you out. If not, thank you for watching and following along with me. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please be sure to let me know. And thank you for watching.